the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world could we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, McQueen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. Something bothering you, friend? Don't mind my sister. She can be a bit stubborn, but Medusa's heart is always in the right place. Once she understands what's at stake, she'll come around. It's the king you have to worry about. Let's just say Black Bolt gave Adelan's last uninvited guests a free tour of the moon, without oxygen masks. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Lucky for you, he's in a good mood today. I think. He's a bit hard to read since he doesn't talk. But you'll probably be fine. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. Thane! 
Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or oh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Bane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. How can I help you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orlan. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Where am I? Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Ottawan is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind... again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> Is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> I'll use my amber to shield Gorgon from further damage. You focus on the other primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you was dare. Level up. People. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? You are the silent truth, as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just to Fire it. Oh, 
sheer power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. The Inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter. I guess this is my battle. This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, not or not, he has family. He refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. You made the cut. Come <laughs> on. 
What can I do for you? Maybe. But if the Black Order is out there searching for it, having me on your side might put you in even more danger. I can't take that chance. Well, when you put it that way... Right. No pressure. Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers emergency frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they plan to do with it. So I blew my cover, 
and grab their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with a stone in hand, but it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. These are the coordinates Buggy transmitted. So, where is he?